Somebody goes, you know, a documentary is about to be wildly journalistically irresponsible, but riveting when it starts like this. And the guy sits down and he goes, do I sit here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah have you ever you have seen that? Yes. yes. Like, like it's a meme now. There's one chair in the middle of a 14,000 yeah. square foot warehouse. Yeah. And, and he, he goes, goes <laughs> is this, <laughs> do I sit in this one? He goes, I can't believe I'm about to say this. I'm like, ah, oh, dude, this is, you took up, you signed a, uh. I love this podcast so much, dude. <laughs> Let's keep rolling, 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 rolling. What are you guys doing for uh, Thanksgiving? It is Thanksgiving. Does it this is. come out on Thanksgiving? Yeah, today is Thanksgiving. Happy the Thanksgiving, year of everybody. the Lord. Yeah. Well, yeah. Is Thanksgiving canceled? As like a, as like a concept? Still, yeah. I think we still got it, but it's probably teetering. It's going that way. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be. It's the last, it might be your last year. This might be the last one. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious to think That's about. like, to, to, to like, to like, to like, like, I would say if you're on the internet arguing about that, it's a loss. Just the fact that you're there arguing about that? On either side. Yeah. I would agree. On either side, it's a loss. Yeah. Well, it means this. And you're like, well, it's problematic because, this. like, either way, yeah. that's an L. Yeah. Take Each that L. Go home. <laughs> Eat your potatoes. Eat your potatoes. <laughs> uh, quick before we <laughs> – the potatoes hit right. Before we get started, um, we just came from Greenville North. North Carolina, South, South Carolina. Carolina. I got an unbelievable story to tell you about the show. Bump into a my brother. Wild story. No, did I? No, you didn't. Was I supposed to? No, 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 no. Um, the week after Thanksgiving, we are going to Los Angeles. Uh, nice. Five shows all sold out. And then the weekend after that, we're going to Miami South Beach. A couple couple um, tickets open for that. Did you strategically schedule warm weather stuff as it's Got getting colder? To, dude. Nice. I'm not trying to. I went up to Dayton last week. I go, what are we doing up here? Yeah. <laughs> why are we here? This should have been a June date. <laughs> yeah, dude. Why are we in Dayton? Like some of those cities are like in the summer, are just are like like Grand Rapids. Just in the summer, though, is yeah, that where you're from? Where Andrew's from. <laughs> in the summer, it's just unreal. Yeah. Chicago in the summer is unreal. Mm hmm. But then you go like, dude, come October, you're not going to have seen here. You're not going to see your neighbors until April. Yeah, no. my no. Um, I make my parents come down here for got the to. holidays because New got, England's a no-go in the winter. You got to. Uh, we're off for the rest of December and then um, January. And then we start back on tour. February, Bowling Green, Kentucky, Cincinnati, Ohio, Saginaw, Michigan, Indianapolis, Indiana, Shipshawana, Indiana Green Grand Rapids, and then in March, I'll just read you February, March. Uh, in March, we're going to Grand Rapids, El Paso, Midland, Texas, Shreveport, Fort Worth, Fayetteville, Arkansas, Cleveland, Mississippi, Memphis, Tennessee, St. Louis, and Fayetteville, North Carolina. Most a lot of those shows are sold out. A lot of them still have tickets left. Lovely. You know what they do? Know where you know where they have tickets? Where? Ticketmaster. Oh, really? Dude. Yeah. I hate to see it. Ticketmaster is 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 uh Ticketmaster's going through it. Yeah. Ticketmaster's getting it. Have you dove in? A little. Okay. Have you? Also a little. Okay, I have thoughts. Okay. Do you want to go or yeah? Should you I go? go? I'll okay. follow you. All right. Well, I'm okay. First of all, I'm on this from both sides. Because mm -hmm. I buy a lot. I love, I love my parents, I think, um instilled this in when us when we were little. We 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 didn't have money. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a lot of uh, material um, things in terms of new uh, cars or houses or, or clothes, but we always were at stuff. Cool. Always going to live things. Mm -hmm. And I always remember going to Braves games. I remember going to uh, symphonies. I remember going to the Nutcracker. I remember watching a lot of things. Yeah. A lot. And I never knew how we quite really had those we never had money. It's we the magic out, of good parents. That's going to is. taking us to stuff all yeah. the time. And I would argue, I would argue, um, that's why I'm a comedian. Because I, I go, I want to be up there. Uh -huh. And I, and I, my, uh, we have like a, um, uh, I'm going to, when I'm start like a foundation and my, my passion would be getting, getting kids to go to stuff. Cool. Because when you see it live, you remember the first time you ever like went to something? And you like sat where you like, yeah. whoa. I don't know if I remember the first time, but I remember times. For yeah, sure. Where you go, where that was oh, really impactful. Is, when it's on TV, it's like that's yes, that's other than. But when you're there, when you're there, when you when I first went to a set, 
walked down to the court for like the Atlanta Hawks and I saw how tall those guys were. Yeah. I go, oh. Yeah. Oh, this is different. Anyway, so I buy a lot of, I, I still value that now. Yeah. That's probably from my parents. Respect. I forgave them. You know? That's cool. Love that. Yeah. Practice I, what you yeah, preach. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I appreciate when my parents instilled that in us, going to experience things. And I regretted, I was probably in college, maybe high school, when Michael Jackson died. Mm. Maybe I was in college. And he was about to go on a world tour, mm -hmm. and I regret he, I regretted never going to see him. Yeah, but since I've seen, uh, I've seen Kobe Bryant. Yep. I've seen uh, Steph Curry. I've seen uh, LeBron James play. Yep. I've seen Tiger Woods play. Like all the best, all the greats, and F Roger Federer just retired, and I regret not going to ever yeah. see him. Yeah. You know, we were just talking about that this morning. We were yeah. just talking about sports and how many like legends are leaving their mm -hmm. sports now. Like Brady's almost done. Yeah. I've LeBron's seen I've seen Tom Brady done. play. I've seen uh, Peyton Manning play. Yeah. I see like the the top of the top. Yeah. I remember I remember when I lived in Denver, Colorado. I went to uh, spring training or training camp or whatever, and and Peyton Manning like the Broncos were in disarray and yeah. Peyton Manning had taken over the reins and you walked out there and you got that guy's in charge. Yeah. That guy's in charge. Yeah. You know, have you ever been in a room like that with somebody? Yeah. Somebody just commands. And that was the on attention. a field. He, I got, that's the, that guy, you, if you didn't, if you didn't speak English, you didn't know what football was and you, you were like, that's, it's that guy. Yeah. And I don't know what that is. It makes exactly. you feel good. It makes you be like, all right, we, we're going to be okay. I mean, gonna be we're going to be okay. That guy's got it. It's odd. I was. I always tell the story of uh, when I lived in L.A. I went to City Church, Judas Smith Church. Judas Smith is like one of those like celebrity pastors. Yep, love him to death. By the way, good friend of mine. Not mm -hmm. good friend of mine. I don't want to overstate that. <laughs> friend of mine. Yeah. We do. We have exchanged texts, mm -hmm. and we are friendly. Cool. I like that guy a lot, and I like a lot of his sermons. Cleared up. Uh, we were all sitting there, and Justin. It's like uh, the Savant Theater, maybe seats. Um, 1500 people justin bieber walked in mm -hmm. and i immediately felt good <laughs> i did i yeah, felt yeah, good yeah, yeah. i felt good yeah. i go there's no other place in la that's cooler than here yeah and i don't know what that is i just felt like i was important that's star power man like that's what that is i guess that's what that is you just come in and it's like i now own this room i did and, nothing but walk into it but i own it now and everybody else by default is also elevated mm. I, at least I felt that way. It rubs off. Yeah, because it was else. like we were all in LA, and we're like, oh, there's so many like you know fun like parties or clubs or you know, up in Beverly Hills, or I bet there's other hot spots. Mm -hmm. But there's not. Right. We're at the hottest spot. Yeah. I thought like, we're it. This is it. How crazy to be that guy that wherever you are is You're the, the hot, hot spot. spot. Yeah. What yeah. Year was that? What year was 2016? That was you could argue that might have been peak Bieber. Yeah, 2017. You didn't? Yeah. Is it, but you would be sitting down and you would see Bieber. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Walk yeah. in and everybody would be like, <sighs> like, kind of a hush came over the. And then. That's just Bieber. That's just Bieber. That's just Bieber. And then if he didn't come, he's like, let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, what are we doing here? You're like, but the spirit showed up. They're like, yeah, but Biebs didn't. So <laughs> I'm out. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, I hate to see it. <laughs> One time we were, I was walking down into like the, uh, I was walking down to the front. One of my buddies was down there and I came around this corner and Justin Bieber walked. There was like a lot of people in there and he was trying to get by and he goes, excuse me, bro. Nice Justin dude. Bieber on my right shoulder. And th oh, that's why you haven't showered since. This shoulder. Wow. Justin Bieber touched me on this shoulder. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's been in my Tinder bio ever since. Did you frame I'm the, just did you frame I've, the I've shirt? I've never been on Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> but that's an interesting, it's interesting, an interesting feeling. No matter Justin what. touching your shoulder? No, yeah. no. Oh, dude, okay. I mean, yeah, that too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Wait, so Ticketmaster. Yeah, Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster. Okay. So my thought, here's my thoughts on Ticketmaster. Run it, okay. run it back and kind of brief what happened. Okay. Yeah. So ticket. So Taylor Swift uh has been out of the limelight not out of the limelight but out off social media making new music and doing her own thing as as legendary taylor swift does mm -hmm. i'm gonna tell you right now i'm gonna look you in the eye and say i have no negative i have nothing negative to say about taylor swift mm -hmm. i like taylor swift sure i like taylor swift a lot i like i like her music i like i, I like how she carries herself mm -hmm. is that fair to say 
Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Um, now I don't like the big women kind of losing control. Like, I, like you get control of yourselves. You're 30. Like, mm -hmm. the, okay. Like this is a little embarrassing. You have children in school. Mm -hmm. and you're having a meltdown, like full meltdown. Like, uh, it's a little embarrassing. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I could have that effect on fans, I would. Sure. I would absolutely. So I got to speak in 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 turn here. Yeah. So. Ticketmaster was supposed to have this on sale for this like the biggest tour in in a long time, right? Yep. And they Ticketmaster was like, "We got it. We're in charge. We'll do the pre-sale. We'll have the code. You'll email to get the code. You'll wait in line. We just botched the whole thing." Yep. It's from what I did, people waiting eight hours. Over then, two million tickets sold in the in the first day. It says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's just too much for the website. It crashed. Then there's mm -hmm. no public on sale. All these type of things. Everybody's mm -hmm. mad, right? Yep. And they were like, this was kind of an embarrassing day. We need to hear from Taylor. We need to, you do? <laughs> you do? Well, you got a staff meeting super quick. Like at 1030, <laughs> you need to be in the conference room. Okay, yeah. Bethany? <laughs> we need to hear from Taylor. We, If she only knew what, her, what we were going through on her behalf. What? what <laughs> like you got bills to pay i don't understand what the what is the problem like that's what i i don't think i get how does the site that is built yeah, to do yeah, this yeah. what is the problem how does it bad bunny's been selling a million tickets a day for yeah a year. <laughs> like how does that crash it, how does it look i think yeah, a lot of people like the man and, and then they blamed her they blamed that's her the second part like, like what does tough. she have to do with anything yeah tough it's tough to blame taylor swift for that well we, we i'll say in like so in artist world i saw this one guy he was like a, he's like a comedian that like literally no one likes or knows of mm -hmm. and he like tweeted at ticketmaster he's like yeah we're having a lot of problems me included i go okay all right dude okay don't dude. lump yourself oh, okay. in he's there, like man. me and me and taylor are, <laughs> I shared that with my buddies. You know, do you see one? You just like, I'm not gonna out this guy, but you just share with your buddies. Like, come on, dude. Yeah, yeah that's my favorite. Me and Taylor. I should have said that. Issues. I'm having Ticketmaster issues too. I was like, yeah, it's because of Taylor Swift dude. tweeting at Taylor. Hey Tay, I'm thinking we could probably band together, and we're. I know we're both on the same side oh, of this yeah. here. That's like, uh, that's like, um, whatever, like obscure. Uh, backup quarterback and 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 uh tom brady's like together we've won seven championships yeah, yeah he won seven he won zero yeah well you're both like like i took three snaps have bro. you seen memes like that like, yes together this duo has won seven super bowls <laughs> it looks like so uh, so they they paused they basically robin hooded the whole thing yeah, they yeah, shut yeah, it yeah. down because yeah. it was it, the site was crashing yeah and so then Shut people the were only able to get tickets through resale, and yeah. resale tickets were like yeah, five I, grand or more. Yeah, 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 yeah. And some people bought them. Which is, okay, so what people are, we don't have to get into the news of it. Sure. Because everybody's already seen it. So Ticketmaster is, in essence, going to get a fee twice then. Yeah. Because they sold them to the uh, scalpers. To the original buyers. And then the scalpers put them back on there. Right. Like, if you went to my... Like my Ryman show in Nashville was sold out, mm -hmm. but you could get on the secondary market and there was like tickets for two grand. Yep. But the reason why the artists hate that because none of that money's coming to the artist. Yeah. And what what they're saying Ticketmaster might have done is is send because if you go on my I just had a presale three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. An artist presale is you want to give so there's an artist presale and then there's a venue presale and then there's a promoter presale. So there's a lot of like. So the artist presale sells out. Mm -hmm. The venue's not sold out. Just that the batch presale. Of... So they give you these four hundred, yeah, or eight hundred, sold out on the presale. Yep. The show's not sold out. Right. So then the venue does a presale. Mm -hmm. So like the like if you're the Ryman, you have your uh, email list, right? Yep. Uh, you're hundreds of thousands of people, and if you follow the Ryman, you're on that presale list. Yep. You hear about it. And then the promoter has a presale, so he sends it off all the radio stations, all the local. So in essence, people want to see how these people get into your show mm -hmm. and who's getting credit. If John's selling them all from his social media, yeah, then we need to stop doing. We need to yeah, stop letting them sell who's, the tickets. We'll take and, them. But a promoter takes a significant amount of money, right? So we need to know who's coming in here. Yeah. So if you look on my people would look on my route map or not the the seating chart. Mm -hmm. Here you do that. Yeah. You look at the seating chart, and it goes. These ones are unavailable. Mm. That doesn't mean that they're bought. 
Oh, they're just in another. They're pre-sale. in another batch. Got it. So you look at it and it goes, it's all white. And I was explaining to Lydia, I go, well, these aren't sold. These are just reserved for the other thing. Right. Now you get a couple months out from the show and now they're all available and now you can kind of see what you're doing. Interesting. But the pre sale's tricky like that. Yeah. But what I said is, you know, there's a lot of people that like hate on, uh, mostly capitalism Mm -hmm. and capitalism has its faults sure but what capitalism is great at is ticketmaster is a company now unfortunately it's hard for the for to get away from ticketmaster because a lot of the ticketmaster their venues yeah you can't play the ryman without ticketmaster they own the event they have a exclusive with the venue oh wow i didn't know so yeah it's a lot of the venues have you have to go ticketmaster to go there because uh pearl jam tried to get out and not do a ticketmaster and they had to play like at a at a county fair and like literally in a field because the, all the venues were, oh, were ticketmaster ticket master venues so you can't play anywhere without wow. ticketmaster which that's why they have such a hold and on and that's why people are arguing that they're a monopoly and they bought they live, nation live nation also yeah. yeah yeah so but here's what's here's what happens Th- there's let's take let's take taxi cabs mm-hmm. we're wildly underserving their customers mm-hmm. that's all we had yep. for a long time yep You'd have to call them the night before. Remember getting a taxi? No. Dude. Get- <laughs> I've never gotten a taxi. You really haven't? Life. Never. Okay, when I lived in when I lived in Denver, like you have a nice parking spot, like it was a downtown area, you're going to call a taxi, mm-hmm. they're going to take you to the airport. You're just to the airport, okay? Yep. You're going to call them the night before. There's going to be someone, not to, there's going to be someone in broken English on a, a switchboard. Mm-hmm. Hello, what address are you at? I'm at 7... Uh, 45 Main Street. I would like to be picked up tomorrow morning yep. at 4.30 a.m. So I got to go to the airport. Yep. Sounds good. See you tomorrow. Great. And you got a flight, by the way, that you need, and you're standing out there in the snow yeah. <laughs> waiting for, you don't know what it looked, you're hoping it's yellow, but it might, it could be one of those minivans. It could be a, a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. And you haven't heard from them in 12 hours. Yep. You can't call back and say, is it on the way? Am I still in the queue? You is can't he, pick up your phone and see where they're nope. at, if they're you getting closer he, or not. Is he 15 minutes late? Should I call? Should I go wake up my roommate? Should I leave it? They're, you're just out there. Yeah. You ride in it. Smells like cigarettes. Right. Uh, the, the ride, you could say, I need to go to the airport. He could take wherever he wants to take. He starts the thing, may start it, may not start it. That was they came on later when they had the ticker, so you could both agree with with the price. Because mm-hmm. before that, it's just like it could be fifty bucks, it could be you have no idea. <laughs> so you just would you just bring a whole pocket full of cash? Yeah, and you had to pay cash. And if if it the guy who started smoking cigarettes, we played loud music. There was no recourse. Yeah, you it's his it's his car. You couldn't call and say I didn't like the guy yeah so and there's no five-star rating no. system yeah. <laughs> and he can rate you either yeah so you could throw up in the back of there and say give me out there's no and so but that was going on mm-hmm. for how long for as long as i can remember yeah prior if without a friend a uh, car that was the only thing that existed dang man and what happened was they were underserving customers yep for so long somebody mm-hmm. goes hey <laughs> you know what we should do yeah. Unfortunately, there's other Elon Musk type people out there. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of them. Yeah. There's a lot of them. And he goes, Hey, you know what we should do? We should make an app where one, the car, if you have one, you can give people rides. You can track what kind of car you want, where it's going to go, when it's going to pick you up, how far it is to you. You can sit inside, watch TV until it comes to your door. Yep. It's going to be here in four minutes. Get out there. It's already the temperature you want. Yep. It's already the music you want or they don't, don't want. They don't talk to you if you don't want to. If you don't to. want to. He takes you right to the place. You're tracking it on your phone. He's tracking it on his phone. The exchange happens. You rate each other. Mm-hmm. If he does bad, he doesn't work anymore. If you do bad, you don't ride anymore. Mm-hmm. And then everybody goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is unbelievable. And then, and then, the, and then, what happens is the taxicab unions come petition at the airport and say, "We need to, you need to keep the Ubers out of here." Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. Toothpaste is out of the tube. It's too. What you you should have thought about this 20 years ago. Yeah, when you were underserving, you're just people. mad that you guys didn't do it. Yeah, you're mad you didn't do it. But what about all these drivers? That I'm sorry. Yeah, 
unfortunately, that's a casualty. It's not a casualty of capitalism. I was going to say it is, but it's not because more people are. It's more. It's, it's better. Yeah. No one can agree that that's not better. And if you are a taxi cab driver and you can switch over to being an Uber driver, there's yeah. you can go Uber Black, buy a better car, and you can make a living that way. Mm-hmm. You can say, there, yeah, that's what's going to happen to Ticketmaster. Yeah, it has to. No, it's gonna. Yeah. And but that people like uh, criticize capitalism, oh, go, uh, like, but there's gonna. Uh, that's what's going to happen. Yes. And somebody's going to go, I figured out a better way. And then everybody, everybody collectively is going to go, thank you. You've been doing this to us for 20 years. Yeah. These, these tickets, it says, I'm reading more into this. It says some of them are priced right now. I don't know if they're selling, but some yep. of them are priced at about $28,000 a ticket. So a lot of room to come in and yeah. undersell the entire market. A lot there, of room to come in. And, and, and also a lot of Ticketmaster just getting kickbacks like, that just like the, the fee on that it's got to be three grand yeah the, the, <laughs> and they love that <laughs> love it john oliver dude john oliver did a i watched a thing on ticket master he does his uh, uh last week tonight or whatever it's yeah. called he did he said one time he, there was a ticket for a monster jam it was like 16 bucks and the fee was 70 <laughs> <laughs> like so they're like they're like this is a hundred percent yeah fee yeah but like they, you know, they, they tried to regulate with, haven't they tried to regulate with it? You got to be transparent with like so. the fees and like you can't add up. I don't know how successfully, but I know that they've tried to get through it and at least make it more transparent about what you're paying yeah. for, what that fee actually is. But, but it's like, become, come on, man. It's become a meme. Yeah. Once you become a meme, mm-hmm. it's over. You're on the clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once Someone's you working meme, to get clock. you out of there. You know what I thought? We're going to probably get to this later, that, that uh, Liberty documentary. Yeah. Like if somebody goes, Oh, you know a meme. You know a documentary is about to be uh, wildly journalistically irresponsible, but but riveting when it starts like this. And the guy sits down. He goes, "Do I sit here?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have, you ever, you ever seen that? Yeah. Yes. They try to play yeah. it like it's it's He's all like, organic. And he goes, "Should I sit here?" Yeah. And he goes, "What camera do I look at?" He goes, "I don't know if I'm ready to do this." And the guy behind the screen says, "Are you ready?" Like, like it's a meme now. Should I sit it's here? It's a meme now, there's like, dude. There's one chair in the middle of a 14,000 yeah. square foot warehouse. Yeah. And, and he, he goes, goes <laughs> is this, <laughs> do I sit in this one? That's why, that's why I said that, that thing about Saturday Night Live a couple, a, a couple weeks ago about like, they were doing like girls during fall. Yeah. I go, yeah. That, we, that's already a meme. Yeah. Like it's already, a, it's like, we already, we're already on the other side of that. Yeah. And that's what that Liberty documentary did. Exactly that. <laughs> Do I sit here? He goes, I can't believe I'm about to say this. I'm like, ah, oh, dude, this is, you took up, you signed a, uh, <laughs> you signed a Hulu deal that you negotiated for a year yeah. and a half with 14 different networks competing for your script. You got a backpack full of cash right <laughs> now, dude. He's like, this is my worst nightmare to take. I go, it's not though. It's not because you signed the deal. Yeah. You know what was your worst nightmare? Yeah. What the documentary is about. That was the nightmare. Did you miss that part where you live that? Did you see? Maybe you missed the. We'll send you the doc when it yeah, comes out. You I can relive his, it. I love this podcast so much, dude. <laughs> I feel like this is. It's, I can't say like I used to say these type of things in like my. This is the platform for these type of conversations. Yes. yes. I used to not. I did. I was. It was kind of coming out sideways in like my bits mm. or like my stand up. Mm-hmm. This is the. This is the. This is the medium for these yeah, discussions. Dude. <laughs> Well, it's the, Gosh, convers- it's the conversation you have sitting on your couch at home with some yeah. buddies. Like, yeah. That's what that is. That's what that, you're like, oh, this maybe wasn't, I, yeah, this maybe wasn't for the stage. <laughs> Speaking of, dude. Yeah. I got to tell you this one story. Yeah, go, please. I'm going to put this on the internet because we, we recorded it. Okay. Okay. So, d- all right. So somebody, c- I was in the middle of the show. Mm-hmm. Somebody brought me up a gift, like in a, uh, like in a, a, a box, like a very small, like jewelry box. Like a ring box type thing? Not a ring, but it was more flat. It was like, like a, uh, okay. Uh, a little more rectangle. Four inches by four inches and one inch tall. Got it. Wrapped. Yep. And a Red Bull. And the, one of the, secu- the, the, the waitresses brought it to me on the stage, which if you work at a, like I'm in the middle of the show. Yeah. Very, that's weird. This is this early in the set, late in the set? Pretty early in the set. Okay. Weird. Okay. She brings me up the, uh, everybody, everybody that is at the show is going to be listening to this podcast. They're going to, we need this broken down. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me. I forgot. I'll bring. It. I'll send you a video. I'll okay. send you. A yeah, video. yeah. We'll we'll splice it in okay. right now. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I I got. I was like, that's a weird thing to send up here. But I go, who sent me this? And some girls like, hey. And they were like, I was like, mm. I was like, I? I was like, I'm not gonna open this. 
or, uh, um, that's it's just railroading the show completely. <laughs> yeah. So I put it on the on the stool, go on with the show. Then there was a guy that was like 30 minutes later laughing so hard in the show, he passed out and was unconscious, went forward, smashed his head on a chair and fell out. Oh my gosh, man. Just like he, and he like, his wife was just in hysterics. Like what's going on? This guy, like she thought he was, and it was, it was a whole scene. That's insane. I've seen wild, I've seen so many wild things. That's why live stand up. Yeah. You're like, I watched the special. I got it. You don't mm. go there. Mm -hmm. This is like an hour. I am a comedian, but like go. Yeah. See it live because it's more. It's like you were talking about going to basketball games. It's you're the same invested. Thing. You're in it. You're yeah. there. Like if you're on TV, you're kind of like say like I just watched the USA Wales game. Yeah. If I was there, oh yeah, I would be unconscious. Yeah. Anyway, I was unconscious watching it, yeah. and I'm a yeah on the other side of the anyway. So then we're doing a couple of minutes more minutes later in the show, and a leaf comes down. Is this an outdoor show? No. Okay. It's inside. <laughs> okay. Greenville. What are y'all doing? And I go, this the, are y'all pranking me? Yeah. I go, so many weird things have happened. And I go, <laughs> this is like, I go, I go, honestly, I kind of want to open that gift now. Yeah. And everybody goes, do it, do it. Because yeah. it's just sitting there like teasing us yeah. for like an hour. And at this point, you're already off the rails. You might okay. as well. Yeah, it's in. already a way off, yeah. way off the rails. It's already off the script. Yeah. So I go, I'm going to open this, but I'm going to open it t towards y'all. Nice. So I don't see it and have a reaction. I'm going to open it towards. It's like showmanship. We, we like to do that here. Like, just tell me, tell it to me live. Yes. Okay. I open it and it is, it is a, uh, uh, an, a an AA chip. Okay. And I'm three years sober. Yeah. So it's a, I go, oh, it's a three year chip. Wow. I go, that's so sweet. Yeah. Okay. And everybody goes, oh, and I guess I just, I've been three years sober. It's like, a, this is so kind of you. And it was a red, with the Red Bull. I go, oh, it's a nice. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Then <laughs> I knew there. I'm waiting for the other. Then, I wouldn't obviously tell that story. <laughs> yeah, it's boring. Right, right. I turned the, the 12 steps. You know what the 12 step is, right? Yes. What the twelfth step is? No, no I know what they you know, are. The 12th, yes, but, you yeah. know, give yourself life over. You're powerless. Uh, help others. God is gonna, uh, you know, make amends for your past. Live in uh, unity. All these stuff, etc. Right. Look up, look up the definition of the thirteenth step. Just look up thirteenth step definition. And if you're not in the recovery community or have been in and out of it, you wouldn't know what it is. But if you're in it, what does it say? 13th step. Urban Dictionary, you think? Uh, what is the 13th no, step? 13th, the AA, of... Go to AA 13th step. Oh, there it is. Yeah, they read that right there. That's it right here? Yep. The th act of 13th stepping is when a more experienced member of a 12-step group, man or woman, pursues a romantic relationship with a new group member. In early recovery, new members of a 12-step group should always look for and use the strongest foothold to remain sober. Okay. So I turn the, I turn the coin over. Mm-hmm. And it says 13th step question mark and has a girl's number on it. I just found a, another definition that says it is starting a sexual relationship with someone early in recovery. <laughs> that is the third that is known as the 13th step. And this went this went from the kindest, the sweetest, most, most awful. benevolent, <laughs> thoughtful, encouraging gift to like, oh, this woman wants to take me down. <laughs> All the way down. Oh, this is a trap. Yeah, this is a trap. And I'm opening this publicly yeah. on stage. And it just became unhinged. How is that so common that it's a thing? That the, it's, it's called yeah, the that's 13th a, yeah, step? Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. That's the problem. Yeah. He's like, yo, you trying to get on the 13th step? It's like, a, it's like you know, in like in like every every subculture has their own type For language. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's unbelievable. And I go, it just went, it just went completely unhinged. Yeah. And I was like, okay, do y'all like? This is what's going on out here. <laughs> and I'm very publicly like, I'm in a relationship. Yeah. Like I got like like uh, I can't. What are you guys listening to me? <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, it's just like the the. Uh, but those are the kind of things that are happening out there just on the daily. That's incredible. On the <laughs> daily. This is the wildest thing I've ever. So anyway, I try to, like, I'm still performing. Right. So I'm trying to, I go, I go, this is unbelievable. I can't believe anyone would be, okay, I go, I can't believe anyone would be so disrespectful to, like, just come up and do this so blatantly. Anyway, it's just, 
<laughs> yeah, everybody started dying, dude. <laughs> like you have to, yeah. you have to get out of it yeah. like that. There's right. no other way. And I'm thinking to myself, it'd be like, be, you don't want to be, of course, disrespectful to your relationship, right? But I go, if that's what's funny. Yes. If my girlfriend did that, I would be like, that's a, it's yeah, a great. Yeah, it's joke. funny because you wouldn't. It's a that's great why joke. It's yeah, it's yeah. a great joke. Right. Yeah. Nice. But we had a good time in Greenville. <laughs> I'm still curious where the leaf came from. I don't know where anywhere any and the guy was fine. He had he came to the meet and greet and he had the girl came to the meet and greet too. The girl from the 13th step. She was a good sense of humor nice, about it. Yeah. yeah, I think she's that role. She's everybody just being having a good time. But yeah. <laughs> my goodness, it's wild out there. Dude. And the guy was fine, you said? Yeah, yeah. He was fine. He's like, he's like, dude, I'm so sorry. I just like he was like, I was laughing so hard and I felt like I couldn't get air. I was like, this is the highest compliment I've ever You're received. You were like, do you want to put that quote on the front of my next special? I was do like, you want dude. <laughs> and then somebody else said they went into labor. Not into labor, their water broke. No. <laughs> At the show, Dude, their what? water broke. Greenville's wild, bro. If this is like a, this is like the wildest announcement for this is the wildest commercial for my live shows. Yes, but they're unhinged. Yeah, in the best way ever. Yeah, you're like this is the wildest. This is on, on if it's not for everybody. Yeah, but if you kind of grew up like if you like the things that you're like, I would put my show up against anybody's. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Thanks for coming, everybody. Let's get to uh, what do you want to give us some news? We got to um, read. We got to. Why don't we do a read real yeah. quick? Yeah, we got to talk about something that we love. Scaped up, bro. Man, get scaped. yourself scaped up. Manscaped. Uh, on with us. Um, I trimmed up. I'm 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 on the full. What is the one I, they sent me? You got the. Uh, you have that platinum package, the 4.0, the lawnmower 4.0. That one's crazy. You know, and what? didn't they send you the the nose and ear hair one? Too? I got that one. I haven't used that one yet. Okay, yeah, cool. I don't. Well. Whitney, who cuts my hair, she does my ears, and it's a little offensive. She goes, well, you need to... I go, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, she'll probably be thankful that uh, yeah, Manscaped... Yeah, yeah. I, I got my own. Manscaped, you know what I was thinking about Manscaped? By the way, uh, manscaped.com. Yeah. And uh, promo code net positive, 20% off anything you want for Christmas uh, and free shipping, right? Yes. By the way, ladies, get your... Listen, there's some things that if you get your, your, get your man, he's going to be like, hey... Mm. I'm not using this. Mm -hmm. I know what you're trying to do. Give me a hammer. I'm not going to build a deck. Okay. Uh, you get me a miter saw. I'm not going to build you a table. Yep. Okay. You get me a treadmill. I'm not going to start running. You get me manscaped. You, I'll use it. Oh yeah. And and nor and I'm going to tell you as a man, I will I would not be offended by that. Mm -mm. Would you agree with that? It's fantastic. I would not be offended if somebody like. It's like somebody getting you like a uh, one of those electric toothbrushes. Mm. They're owed as my. You're like, no, this is just to do it. It's like just this. good for you. Yeah, yeah, and it's. I'll say too, they've expanded a ton. Like yeah. they they started out with just stuff that was meant for like below the belt men's grooming. They got it all. They got everything out good, of it. That's, that a good, ear, that's a good Christian way to say that. Below the belt like men's that. grooming. Yeah. That's how they say it. There's and, a lot of other like uh, literature in here that I'm like, I'm not saying that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but they have. They got two in one shampoo conditioners now. They got deodorant. Oh, they got it all. It's all. Why well, yeah, they of send stuff, me that? Man. They're gonna send me that. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. You know what I? You know what I like about Manscaped? What is that? It's like Uber. It's like they're they're the biggest one in the business mm -hmm. kleenex you say mm. give me a kleenex mm -hmm. well it's a it's a tissue right but kleenex is the one right uber it might be a lift it might be like no call an uber yep that's the one yep hey i need to get manscaped yeah like there's a bunch of ways to do that yep that's the one you gotta go to the best you gotta go to the best you gotta manscaped.com uh promo code net positive 20 percent off, off uh what is that all your tw everything you order 20 percent off guaranteed shipping by christmas i just made that up but that's probably true <laughs> if you order today i mean it's like yeah it's like go a order today yeah, yeah yeah it depends on when you are uh use the promo code uh net positive let's get in the news baby yeah oh lots going on in the news we got a lot going oh on. Dude. Yeah. well We're, taylor I mean, swift was kind of the news already but a little news there mm -hmm. what do you want to hit next do you want to go uh, Twitter or do you want to go World Cup? Oh, let's go World Cup. First. Okay, cool. Okay. So World Cup kicked off Sunday. World Cup and uh, in Qatar, and that was in Qatar. In Qatar, and they kicked that off two days after they announced that. Just so y'all know, there's going to be no alcohol at this World Whoops. Cup. Whoops. Yep. No alcohol. None. Dumb. Two days before kickoff. R.I.P. R.I.P. To the Saturdays are for the boys, guys. The world freaked out because this way that's for everybody, not just for us. That's oh, for everybody. Yeah. yeah. So they they were saying like you can have wow. you can have alcohol pre game post game no alcohol in the stadium unless you're in like one of the 
like executive rich people? boxes. Tough, and, yeah, so they dude. can get it. Tough, yeah. dude. Yeah. Do what you want when you pop. Do what you want when you in the executive suite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you sit in level. What What did they say? Like, hey, like uh, section one hundred one. Fine. Yeah. Three hundred one. No. <laughs> <laughs> they need it more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like a. Uh, it's tricky. I I've never really thought about this. Like, uh, do you think? I've always just thought this, I guess, growing up that because I've been on a bunch of mission trips, I've been to probably 20 plus countries. Yeah. I always just thought if something happened, like they'd black hawk down me out of there. Yeah. yeah. Didn't you always think that? Yeah. Like when you were a kid, they were like, if I'm caught, the US, which is like, like would come get in, they would hear that I'm <laughs> there. Yeah. And that I was being like improperly detained. Yeah. And they would come get me. This and this is before you had notoriety. You're talking about as a kid. As a you were kid. That. Yeah. I just thought if I get in any trouble, like even if I get like roll my ankle. <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know get why the mail I don't know snap. why I thought that. Yeah. I because that's, that's not true. <laughs> that's American arrogance. That's, that's what that the, is. <laughs> most I but I always live like that. Yeah. I go, I don't know. There's like a disagreement or like you like break like a rule or you like out past curfew or something that's mm -hmm. not it's fine here or you you like i remember in morocco that i i walked down the street and held hands with this uh, uh, a man uh -oh. that was like a, that's like a um guy friends do that yes and i was very uncomfortable <laughs> but uh, he grabbed my hand yeah. and we kind of like and i was like trying to get out of it but i remember <laughs> walking down the street with this guy in morocco holding his hand yeah and that's like a that's like a thing there. Just what you do. That's what you do. Yeah. But this, um, that's a great question. Did you interlock fingers or I was, was it a palm to palm? I was paws, not claws. Nice. What's well that? Pause. Very nice. No claws. Pause. Pause. Yeah, I was paw. That's what they said in youth group. Pause, not claws. This is. <laughs> mm -mm, this is fine. <laughs> is it the, just the intersection of the fingers? Is a little too much yeah, sexual this is tension? A little bit. This is like, look how much uh, like uh, skin to skin contact. It's the is. friction, isn't it? Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. You would hold. Yeah, that's a, that, 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 it's gonna get just somebody too going. much rubbing. I remember the first time I did that. Held hands. Yeah. I used to hold hands uh, with my girlfriend in fourth grade at recess every single day for the entirety of recess. Really? Yeah. I could see you doing that. Yeah, dude. A thousand Yeah, my friends Alex. would come over and be like, yeah, we would like sit on the bleachers. They'd be like, like, yo, you want to come play like football? And I'd be like, nah. Can we play four square? Yeah. Pff, nah, nah, dude, I'm holding hands yeah. with Bridget, yeah. bro. Rebecca. Rebecca. <laughs> yep. Spelled the biblical way. Oh, yeah. Rebecca with of an course. H. Yeah. Okay. So, the, the, well, like, <laughs> so, so no so beer at the World Cup. If you and bring, if you sneak in a, a, a a shooter, a fireball, you're getting Brittany Grinder. Oh, you're, you're gone. They're grindering you. Yes, dude. you're gone. Grindered. One hundred percent. Yeah, that's, and that's terrible. so they're like the U.S. Embassy in Qatar has yeah. also put out now this cultural considerations list. Oh, I love this. So that specifically for the World Cup, yeah. So that Americans in Qatar can brief know themselves on this and be like, hey. These are other things that you should probably be mindful over there. Okay, what do you got? Well, it's there's si like simple things and like this is just the U.S. saying, "Hey, when you go over there, try to do better." When you're over there, you're not over here. That's basically what they're <laughs> yeah. saying. Like, you're not hey. at home. Yeah, you don't know the rules. No home field advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah, on their yeah. turf, so you can't, play by you, their rules. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, uh, you can't spit on a cop. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, you can kind of like, unfortunately, you can yeah. disrespect cops here. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I don't again. I don't support that. But you can be very disrespectful to police officers here. Well, funny you should say that because the first point that they is. have of is, it is. Uh, First Amendment protections of the U.S. Constitution do not apply to U.S. citizens <laughs> outside of the U.S. Yeah. Activities like protests, assemblies yes. of large groups. Does it say that? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, I'm reading this is verbatim. <laughs> Religious proselytizing nope. or advocacy of atheism and speech critical of the government of Qatar yeah. or the religion of Islam yeah. may be criminally prosecuted in Qatar. That's the first thing they wow. say. Is like, hey, everything that you like love about yeah. America, you don't have yeah. that over there. So hey, just super quick, like just <laughs> like every everything that you are here, like don't do that over there. Yeah, all the things that you are, don't do it any. Hey, you any. know everything you've built your identity around. Yeah. that's now off the hey, table. Your whole social media feed, <laughs> don't do that. It's criminal activity yeah. there. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your uh, every post is your rap sheet. Yeah, that's, that's what it, that they're is. gonna go back. What's your name? Yeah. Uh, what's your Instagram? <laughs> yeah. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So, so it's, you can't you can't uh, t tell somebody about Jesus. No, you can't say it. 
I I mean, yeah, based, based, on this, I, based on this, based on this, I wouldn't. Yep. I'm not trying okay. to go to prison. Uh, all right. What's this it thing? goes on to talk about like more simple things like traffic That's accidents so and good. tickets are treated very seriously over yep. there. Road rules are different. And then it goes into dress codes. Both men and women have to cover their shoulders, chest, stomachs, and knees. Men and women? Men and women. Okay. Leggings must be, like anything tight like leggings need to be covered by a long shirt or yep. dress. Yeah. Um, it talks about medications. Some yep. medications are illegal. And then it gets into some more serious stuff, like okay. sexual intercourse outside of marriage is illegal in Qatar. Okay. And pregnant women must present a marriage certificate to receive prenatal care at medical facilities in Qatar. Okay. So they take it to the whole next step. Homosexuality is straight up criminalized. Okay. Uh, journalists, including independent content creators and vloggers, need specific visas to like you can't just go filming people. There's yeah, all the TikTok shows that we see yeah, in the streets yeah, of New York, yeah. they don't have no, those in Qatar. No, nope, they don't have any of that. Uh, and then obviously alcohol and drugs yeah. are no nos. Okay, so this is this is your briefing for the World Cup. But have fun, enjoy. Yeah, yeah. go out there, kids. <laughs> Good luck. All the things that you enjoy about that's things, a, yeah, you that's a, like like I well I think what I think what. Changed it for me, I guess, is the Britney Griner thing. Because mm. she's like, now she's in like a penal co camp or something. Yeah. Like something, now now they're just messing with us. They're just showing off now. Yeah. Like, hey, but like, but do you go, oh, like if, they, if they're like, John, we don't have any recourse. It would be like, I don't know. Can you get like Kim Kardashian to tweet about me or <laughs> something? Like some kind of like, but if that's. That's how different countries work, right? Yes. If you were in there, like you, when somebody comes here, we want him to do follow our rules. Yes, and that's the point that this guy made. This, uh, I believe, he plays for France. Oh, the uh, uh, the soccer player. Yeah, yeah. Hugo Lloris, uh, French captain, yeah, was yeah. going to wear a rainbow armband in okay. support of LBGB, LGBTQ. Sure. He says, uh, he says this: when we're in France mm. and we welcome foreigners, we often want them to follow our rules to respect our culture. And so I'm going to do the same thing when I go to Qatar, quite simply. Yeah. Basically, like, you, what, yeah, treat that's others a, the way you want to be yeah. treated. But like, I, I, yeah, I guess, yeah. I don't know, because you come to like this American, like, I, I feel like some of the, like, like some of the talk that I've had, like, everybody needs to learn their lesson. People, you know, kids need to be spanked when they're kids. You know, all the protesting, leave them in there. Like, that's kind of my... Yeah. Angle on this. Right. You know, like that's why everybody needs to learn a lesson. Oh, the kids didn't get spanked when they're little. And now they're protesting. Right. Like, there's no consequences to like behavior. Yep. And, and I and you can always kind of talk yourself out of things. And like any press is good press because mm -hmm. you're like, even if you got in trouble for like making a TikTok somewhere, it goes viral. And yeah. then you're like. But that scares me to death. Oh, this is terrifying. That scares me to death. Yeah. It's also, it's, people are making a bigger deal about it too, because in 2014, when the World Cup was in Brazil, yeah. FIFA told Brazil, yeah. you are going to change your federal laws that ban alcohol sales at okay. stadiums. Yeah. Because alcohol is a big part of FIFA culture. And they did it. Really? Yep. And so now, People are looking at Qatar and being like, "Oh, well, we're not going to tell them <laughs> what to uh, do." <laughs> yeah, they like so the 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 uh, Brazilian. You go, ah, yeah. there's the uh, South yeah. America. It's a little more. We get we 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 get their culture more, mm -hmm. not totally, but we're a little bit more. It's closer to ours. Yeah, sure. like we listen to Bad Bunny. That's probably <laughs> he's not from down not, there. No. Where's he from? <laughs> Puerto Rico. He's from yeah, but we that culture is very like amongst us mm -hmm. there's Bra like B brazilian people live here yeah we like that we speak that language yeah. like you watch when you watch like that that like pregame and there's like people in the full full garb that's a, a foreign is the only way foreign not in terms of uh like negative but like foreign and different that's foreign concept oh, yeah. to me totally i never we don't I, know many Qataris. I don't know them. I don't know them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that, that that that's the fairest way to say that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. That it's unfamiliar. It's un yeah. For for unfamiliar is like when you say like he's not homeless. He's experiencing homelessness. That's about, yeah. yeah. You said it. <laughs> it's the PC term yeah. for it. Yeah. It's unfamiliar. It's an unfamiliar culture. So you us. go ah like I go oh who is it like uh anybody anybody for the most part. I would run into in America. I go ah, let me let me talk to him. I work it out. You know, like that that is. Uh, I don't. 
you know, that's not because of any kind of racial. I just don't. They're not around. Yeah. Where I am, it's just a very specific part of the world. Yeah. I went over. I went to Kuwait. Nice. I went to Kuwait on a on a uh, comedy, uh, a USO comedy tour for the troops. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. How was that? Oh, it was unbelievable. But I, that, that, I culturally, was, how I was, was with, that? Uh, wild. It's, everybody has everybody in Kuwait. Uh, no one has a job in Kuwait. Kuwait's a small country mm -hmm. surrounded by huge countries that are uh, anti-American. Kuwait is very pro-American because we saved them during Desert Storm. So we have all our bases there. Mm. Kuwait's this big. Yeah. Iraq, Afghanistan, Iran, it's huge. And yeah. we have all our tanks and everything there. So Kuwait's like, but nobody has jobs there. How? They have oil. The government gives everybody like like 200 grand a year. Get out. I could, that, those numbers might be wrong, but there's like, I saw like a couple of Lamborghinis like wrapped around like uh, telephone poles and just like sitting there. What? There's so much money. So much money. They have 4.3 million people there. Ask uh, like an average salary for a uh, government salary of a Kuwaiti. Yo, this is, is a net positive, dude, because people are learning today. I don't think nobody works. They just have a. Um, I read a book about this Saudi prince would just like take, he would like buy Lambos. And yeah. He would just like race yep. them out into the desert. Yeah. And then they would just get picked up in a helicopter and yep. eat in the Lambos in the desert. Not uncommon. Like, Not uncommon. Yeah, they just like there's so much. Everybody is like is like uh, grandfathered into the money. If you're if you're a Kuwait, if you're born in Kuwait of a Kuwaiti family, mm -hmm. it's just like next level. I can't find it, so somebody can yeah. fact check us if they want to try to pick that up. But, but that's the same with the same with the live the live golf tournament. Mm -hmm. Is that people are piping off on uh, the the because everybody's saying um, the civil rights and human rights issues that the the World Cup shouldn't be in Qatar, mm -hmm. right? Right. Now let me also say. When the World Cup agreed to go to Qatar in 2010, 12 years ago? Yep. Okay. That was when they won the bid. The landscape is different. Mm -hmm. the, la the social landscape, uh, like, first of all, uh, social media is 50 times more robust. Mm -hmm. You know about things in other countries. You know about the world has become bigger but smaller. Yep. And, 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 uh, rights and things like but not there like in china they don't have it mm -hmm. we you we i tried to get on the uh look up a movie theater in china to see what and they can't find it <laughs> the internet they don't they don't yeah. have everything yeah gosh this makes me so mad for everybody here dude <laughs> mad for everybody where nah here let me find you this tweet because the uh, uh the elon musk thing yeah we're well, going we, to twitter we, next right, yeah all right we'll good get segue all right do we we finish let me make sure we finish this topic yeah um Oh, like there was like everyone was gonna wear the the LGBTQ like armband. Right. Okay. I feel like anyone in that community is gonna think this bit is funny. Okay. I've never these words have never famous come out. Famous last words. Yeah, famous <laughs> last words. If you're not in this, if you're not in this community, don't respond. Don't respond on behalf of them saying you're mad. I have a niece that is very. Stop, save it. Okay. Save it. Yep. Is is the <laughs> oh, no. I'm sweating, dude. So am I. <laughs> Hold on. You know how like in the NBA, like like in the in the um in the, on the um like first uh, let me just first say with breast cancer awareness. Yeah. With the pink. Yeah. Okay. Right. That it was like, let me get um let me get like a uh the first time I ever saw it, they had a pink uh like towel. Yeah. And then it started to be like pink shoes. Right. Then you see pink wristbands, gloves, then you see pink gloves. Then you see uh, pink on some of the uniforms became maybe the patches were pink. And then actual I've seen pink on the helmets. Yep. And then like like it, it, I talked to a friend that I know personally very close. This is his wife is uh, is overcome breast cancer and she hates that month. Interesting. Because it's just PTSD. Reminder of all the like and she's like all, all this money doesn't go to where it needs to go. It's just a big handshake everybody's everybody's like it's a show it's a huge it's show yeah that's and we talk a lot about that on this podcast right it's a it's very performative very virtue signaling like, like uh, on on the dollar susan g Komen, it, it, it like 90 cents goes to like just their administration right and like whatever i don't know the numbers sure okay that being said, <laughs> big build up. Here you know we go. how? No, I, I always mess up the build ups. Your brain is small. Yeah. That's a throwback from last week. Bro. That was tough. Uh, so, like, 
like remember during covid with the nba and they had all those things on the on the back of the jerseys like uh it was like like education stop hate. reform yeah and like it, like if you watch if you go to the um look at the nba jerseys during covid nba yeah. social justice jerseys a lot of them said black lives matter yeah, a lot of them did you the can nfl of, helmets have them on the back you can still. kind of choose yeah yeah and then there's like uh you don't have to look that up we got it and okay. then there was like um you know like in the in the in like on the back of the NFL, like like uh, end zone, it's like end slavery and or, racism and racism. Sorry, yeah. and racism. Yeah, it's like it's like they're like uh, they're like uh, the avocado is like yo. Let me get in there. Like yo, can I get in? There? What you got? A sandwich? Let me get in there. What you got? A breakfast bowl? Yeah, let me get in there. What you got? Yeah, let me get. Let me. Yo, okay, what do you got? A juice? Like avocado juice? Let me get in there. Mm -hmm. Like like. The people in the community, I don't, I don't know if they're if they're petitioning for the bands. Mm. That's just like a, oh, you're not wearing the because like remember like in the de the the uh, Tampa Bay Rays, yeah, they had the they were wearing the Pride Month uh, jerseys, mm -hmm. and the six guys go, we're not doing that. Oh, I didn't even know about. Yeah, this. there are six guys on the team that go, we're not, we're not doing that. Wow. And they they I don't know if they got cut from the team. Or I don't know, but they go, that's okay. Like they just like every like if they if we gave them like carte blanche, mm -hmm. do whatever you want. They were like, what 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 extent would it, like end slavery or end racism in the back of the end zone? You're like, that's what did it for us. Yes. And I'm not saying it's not helpful. No, of course. But they just like wait, you're saying if you're gonna try to make change, make change. What do you got? Hey, what do you got? World Cup? Let me get in there. Yeah. What do you got? Armbands? Let me let me slide in there. Mm -hmm. What do you? Hey, let me. Yo, can I get some shoelaces? Mm -hmm. you know, like that. The, the people that are on the front lines of the change are the the, the breast cancer uh, doctors are kind of like yeah, that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That, actually, that would be interesting. Yeah. That's get kinda, like, get a yeah. doctor's take on that. Do like, they? How do you yeah, feel yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah. They're not. They don't. They, yeah. Or or people that, that people like that that bre that breast cancer uh, perspective is not ever shown. Mm -hmm. He's like I I this month is just a, it's a terrible horrific people in this podcast me have lost people that you love to breast cancer. Yeah, is, is that the way? Is awareness mm -hmm. like they're like yo let me get in there. Yeah. Oh like if they if they had the run, they took the jerseys then they took they're wearing they're like where does it. Every other seat is like a rainbow seat. Like it takes, it's like it just keeps like, yo, what do we got over there? Let me get in there. And then Qatar said what? For you can't do that. Oh, they said you can't wear that band. No. Yeah. And then they go, oh, <laughs> yeah, it's our country. Yeah, we can, it can't. And I disagree. I would disagree with that. I think if you if, if you have a stance or a premise that you like to promote and the and the organization is good with it, then yeah, they go, nah, you can't do that. And then they're like marching. You're like, what do you? What are you fighting? Yeah. The country? Are you mad at what? Right. And then he said, well, I'm not going to go to Qatar. We're like, well, are you going to watch it? <laughs> where does the, yeah. We, get, we feel like we come back to the same thing every weekend in this podcast. Yeah. Yeah, where does it end? Yeah. I don't know. But the good, I mean, the good news, uh, Budweiser has pledged that the winner of the World Cup will get all of the beer that they weren't able to send to Qatar. So. That's a win. So that's, that's a big a win, win for whoever. I mean, stakes have been raised. Hold on. That's what the that winning is. country gets all that Budweiser? All that, Bud. And it's a picture of a giant, we'll splice it in, with a giant, uh, a giant of, warehouse of beer. So they were going to, what are they going to send that over there on a plane? It has to be, right? Like, a, it's got to be an aircraft carrier. An or aircraft a, carrier? Or a, yeah. It's got to be a cargo plane. You think so? Well, Budweiser, they make Budweiser over there. You think they manufacture Budweiser in Qatar? Well, no, nah, in Middle Eastern countries. That's a, a, I bet they don't. Yeah, they don't. Not Budweiser. So you think they just got a giant refrigerator plane? They have to. How do they get that over there? They have. To. I mean, it's got to stay at a certain temp. I'm gonna. I'm, I, you know what I'm thinking in my head right now is that we should do a bit on what countries would be the best and worst to receive the alcohol, but that's gonna turn. <laughs> that's gonna be across the line immediately. <laughs> like Ireland, they don't need. They don't need more alcohol. Yeah, they're good. The yeah, Ireland doesn't need more alcohol. Yeah. There's some people that were like, if they got it, we. Uh, Remember, maybe is Canada in? They're probably not in. I don't think Canada's, Canada's in. not in. They know. could use it. Yeah, Canada. Yeah. Canada needs it because they've been they've been uh, they've been locked down. They've been locked down up there. They yeah. need some Budweiser. Yeah. <laughs> Who do we need to make friends with? What countries are against us? Ooh, interesting. Is is um is are Russian? Did they decide they're out? Are of they the out? World Cup? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't think. I they're think playing? they decided they're out. At least I know in um. At least I know in the in the Olympics they weren't allowed to right. That's a tricky, that's a slippery slope. 
figuring out who can play based on their moral code. That is wild. That's tough. Yeah. Yeah. Who gets Yeah, to they're play? banned. Russia's banned. Yep. From what? FIFA banned them from the World Cup. Russia is. Yeah, yeah. FIFA FIFA banned them. This what about North Korea? Amazing. North Korea? I don't think so. They're banned. Right? Yeah, this is a list of all the countries FIFA has ever banned from the World Cup. Oh, wow. There I you didn't go. know that. Yeah. So apparently it's a lot. Russia. Russia's Oh, this won. is, they get like a reinstatement. Kenya and Zimbabwe. What do they get banned for? Um, governmental, governmental interference. Of the issue. Okay. By the way, there's yeah. still there's still controversy that Qatar bribed their way to winning yeah, this obviously. World Cup back in 2010. That was the drama before all yeah, of this. Yeah, how, stuff why else? Going. They don't even have an airport there. Yeah, <laughs> South Africa. I mean, they have an airport, but they're like, it's a, like Qatar, like. They sh you should have it in London or not Moscow, but like uh, Tokyo, where there's like infrastructure. Yeah, where there's a Holiday Inn, do where there's a Marriott. They, do you remember when uh, I think it was South Africa got it? They won it and hadn't built the stadiums yet. Yeah, none of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah they'll be, they'll be ready. Yeah, like, we'll, we'll, we'll make them. <laughs> yeah. Where was it? To, where Imagine was it to... buying anything else like that. No, nah, we'll make it. Yeah, <laughs> here's that. Here's the, see this piece of land. Yeah, we're gonna put it up out there. We're Yugoslavia, put the, Chile, yeah. Indonesia. Put Kuwait. it in put it in Brazil. We can all get down there. Mm -hmm. The world can get there and the world can have a ham sandwich and the world can stay at a holiday inn. That's what you need. Yeah. It was gonna be in Morocco one time. Because I, I went to Morocco and it was they were like they were trying to get the bid. And I'm like, this you can't have it here. Oh wow. But but Qatar, I think, is 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 like Dubai. Half the Isn't it? I believe so. Qatar is like they got, yeah, they got money, yeah, yeah, they for got sure. Money, they yeah. got money, they, yeah. and they cannot hide it. Uh, yeah, we get it. The yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a weird showing on Sunday too. Sunday's game at halftime, yeah. Qatar was down by two and yeah. playing terribly. Yeah, and like half the fans didn't come back after halftime. Oh, really? They just left. Like the the fans or the stands were super empty. Qatar said, "Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, they're like, mm -mm. well, you know, it's funny. We were watching the game today, and we were like, there were all those people in like USA like jerseys. I got like, I think that guy's from Qatar. That's paid." <laughs> He didn't look like American. They just sent him. Yeah, in there. They, they're like, hey, we need some actors. We need to fill this place. <laughs> if you get 40,000 people, pay them a couple hundred bucks a game. Go in there, put on a, paint yourself red, red, blue, and cheer. I got the it. entire uh, tournament is like Truman Show. <laughs> <laughs> the players have no idea. Like, they've just manufactured this whole tournament. They run experience. into a wall and yeah, they yeah. open the door and go out. What the? It's like in Omaha. Weird. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. All right, let's wrap this. Let's get to Twitter. All right. Hold on. Do we need to? Be, uh, uh, let me I think yeah. we put a bow on that. All right, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to discuss. Oh, should we go to the Liberty? We got to circle back now? to Liberty. You want to hit that first? <sighs> that one's. We should hit that. Let's hit that. All right. Okay. So the the documentary well, let is. Me, let me just say why this is important to for my audience. Go. First of all, I'm very deep in this community. Yes. This evangelical Christian community. And what I've heard that what Notre Dame is to Catholics, the BYU is to Mormons, Liberty University is for evangelical Christians. I think that is very fair to say. Okay, mm -hmm. I've performed at Liberty University m multiple times, mm -hmm. and they've been very kind to me. Jerry Falwell Jr. himself and his wife, mm -hmm. and I and I'll 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 be honest. I've told you stories mm -hmm. about my interactions with them that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say on this podcast. Mm -hmm. I'm just not mm -hmm. because, um, pr private. Things yes. that become public, that's like the currency these days. Mm -hmm. But for, for people, like I think about uh, private conversations becoming public, you know, it's like, well, that was like, you know, the football coach in the locker room, he's like, these, da, 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 and then yes. it becomes public. Mm -hmm. This is a conversation that was meant between private and it becomes public. Yep. And in the, the people, the, the cancel culture people are nah, I wouldn't even say that, but a lot of people are like everything out. We need to put we need to expose everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's conversations that have in every business, in every family, in every social circle that goes, it's not, we're not we're we're having this conversation. We don't want to have it around the kid. Mm -hmm. This is about the husband or wife, or this is in a business, the CEO is having a conversation with the executives is not for the employees, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Nothing wrong with that. No. Um, I would say that I'm trying to always go back to like the Bible, if that's like your, your like a uh, source of truth. Like I bet Jesus mm. had private conversations. Yeah. That were not meant 
He was and, human. And if he, but he was also, according to the Bible, sinless. Mm-hmm. So if if he goes, if Paul comes in, or, or uh, maybe not Paul, but uh, let's uh, let's say Matthew, the apostle, hypothetically. Yep. Hey, you're doing all these miracles. Do you want to go to Samaria or Galilee? Mm-hmm. He goes. Ah, well, like the lodging is probably not like great over in like Samaria. And mm. like last time we went there, there was kind of that like ruckus with the thing. And like, let's, it'd be better if we just go to like Samaria. Galilee was it's the other better one. if we just yeah. go to Galilee. Yeah. And like, there's probably like, but and, like, if the Samarian people hurt, that's not okay. So he was that those yeah. conversations had to have happened. Had to a thousand percent. Yeah. It, conversations that were in private mm-hmm. that were about other things that were not sin, but they were like, that's not for everybody. Mm-hmm. And what everyone wants to do, and I've been on the other side of it, is like, well, that conversation was private and it is now public. Yes. And I, I would add color to what you're saying in the sense that, like, not, uh, what you've told me is something that wouldn't benefit anybody. Oh, yeah, 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 also. Like yeah, it's, yeah, it's not it's like not, if you yeah, shared yeah, yeah, that, yeah, it would yeah. exonerate or, it, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it just, it doesn't, now, somebody, it doesn't like, add to the conversation in a constructive way. Now, it does in an, in an entertaining way. Yeah. And it's, in a, and, and like, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to add no, to that. No, But they're also, we shouldn't say that if somebody was like, uh, if the mayor of Nashville was like, I love Nashville, I can't believe uh, this city is amazing. And then, like, privately, it's like, I hate this place. I'm just, like, using it for money. <laughs> And I'm just trying to like use the clout. Yeah. You would argue that probably that should be shown. I mean, if you, but if yeah, it's just like it's just like it, everything needs to be public. Is just you're gonna. It's tough. Yeah, it's tough. Yes, to just put everything. It out. can't be everything. No, even conversations that business wise or personally, they were like, hey, you talk like one of the best possible joys of being in a relationship. I'm just gonna say this out loud mm-hmm. is when you have shared. Uh, uh, perspective with someone, and you can go to a dinner or a, yes. and you can get in the car and be like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Gosh. And the, the best is when you're so in sync that you can just shoot them a look. You that and is they the go, best. <laughs> that is the yeah, best. And I would argue, oh man, there's nothing better than that. Yeah. I would even go a step further that you know, like someone is a certain type of way and and they your the your spouse knows that and you kind of like egg them on a little <laughs> yes, bit dude, yeah. gosh that's horrible and they're looking at you like come on dude come that's got to be one of the best or you go let's say you somebody's having trouble with their you know in-laws or their siblings or someone and you go over and you go oh i know exactly how this car conversation is gonna go yeah and it's not i don't think i know where the buttons are oh <laughs> gosh and you can and that's why you're just like not it's like if you say, "Hey, um, I'm not going to work with this this guy who shot the videos this weekend." Uh, this is not true, by the way. But like, uh, uh, the, shot, the guy who shot the video a month ago was was not good. Yeah, it's horrible. And I sent it to my assistant. Hey, that guy's videos were not good. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and pay him, but let's not use him again. Right. And I sent that to him. Tough. I didn't, but right. like that that's would be a, tough. Yes. Yeah, it's just like oh, uh, it's not. Uh, I wouldn't classify that as a sin. Right, you're not talking no ill of him, but that's not an appropriate conversation for you to have with him. Agreed. It's a done. Yes. Yeah. Good so, example. Yeah. So I've had all these. I've I've had uh, public and private uh, interactions with with both Jerry Falwell and his wife mm-hmm. that are like, I go, oh man, I, and I told you guys, yeah, before this, yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't. I would. I've been on the other side of that. It's not productive. It's not fair. Yes. It's unfair to be like, well, I was saying that privately as a joke, mm-hmm. not for you to. Yeah. And me use it for my gain. Yes. By the way, it's also like hindsight's twenty twenty. Yeah, of course. Like you factor oh, in then everything yeah, you've yeah, seen yeah, yeah. on the. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you see something come out about somebody, and then you turn yeah. around and start analyzing every interaction you've ever had with this them. This all makes sense. You start picking at stuff. And yeah, it's some. Like, I remember some girl like went on a podcast like after I got canceled. She's like, "Well, he he texted me at one a.m. and called me baby one time." Or something. <laughs> I go, "Okay, save it. Cuff him. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> I got him. Put him away." All right. So the, the the documentary basically, if you haven't seen it, the president. Um, got in a was in a very I don't want a very explicit sexual relationship involving his wife and another a pool boy a pool boy yeah Yeah, it's disrespectful to call him a pool boy that's what he's been labeled I will say up front I respect the kid I do as well I respect the kid for putting his name on that Mm -hmm. and his face on that yeah now granted it was probably for a lot of money I was gonna get there yep 
Okay, so he you know, gets in and goes, this, all right, let me just say. Yeah. I don't, I, I'm not the guy to be taken by any kind of message. Like, it's a very, uh, what's it called when you go, mm, a very cynical. Yeah. Very, very cynical guy of yes. everything. I sit in the back of, like, sometimes I, it's, it's detrimental in my personal and interpersonal relationships. In comedy, it's great. For sure. Mm, yeah. Oh, they're just trying to, mm, we get it. Yeah. yeah. It, it, you sit in the back of a church, uh, at a Titans game, at uh, somebody else's concert, yeah. listen to somebody else's podcasting, yeah. About everything. Mm -hmm. And my girlfriend sometimes, hey, can you just like yeah. set that aside yeah. a little bit? Hey, can we just enjoy this? So it's Snow White. Just watch yeah. it. <laughs> it's Jerry Falwell Jr. When he was like rising to prominence, I was like, I found myself being like, mm. Mm. and like I made some jokes. He did that thing. Remember that thing about the guns? We can stop all these uh, Muslims before they. Yeah. He said that. He said, I have my gun on me right now on stage, yeah. right? Yeah. So I was doing a show there. Three weeks later, mm -hmm. and that whatever year that was, I had a, a New Year's Eve show there, mm -hmm. and I go as the comedian, I have to <laughs> make a joke about this. Do you ever have a joke come to mind and you're like, "Oh, for comedic integrity, I have to tell I have this to, one." Dude, I got to, like, for the boys. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, "Who's going in there?" He's like, "Is there any comics?" Like, I have to the go. Comic, it's a call of duty calls. I gotta go. The comic will, in a lot of ways, like that was the court jester. Yeah, he was like the king was like, "Oh," and the court jester goes, mm, "No." Yeah, and like you could argue, like in 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 uh, the the country music world, these jokes that we've made have kept them honest accountable yeah no nah, i mean i don't want to i don't want to okay <laughs> too authoritative sorry yeah so i made so i made a joke i go I, I have to yeah i'm the i'm the only if i'm gonna stay true to this craft i gotta make this joke mm -hmm. so i go uh, there was a joke about church league softball there's something about church league softball and i was like you played all the other denominations so it's like you played the pentecostals and you prayed for them and they passed out you prayed for the um, you pray for the Catholics, but they were they were all drunk by the time. Like just dumb stereotypes. This is nice. Ten years, ago, I don't know, five years ago. Yeah, dumb stereotypes. And I you, and then I go. We played the Liberty School, and Jerry Sein or Jerry Sein not Jerry Seinfeld, <laughs> and Jerry Seinfeld Jerry, showed up. We played Liberty, and yeah. Jerry Falwell Jr. is like, "Here, take my gun." Like just as a <laughs> not not necessarily just as a commentary on. It's not a great joke, sure. but a commentary on that'll hit there though. Yes. Yeah. And everybody was like, ah. <laughs> like it was, a, it created a huge thing. Was Jerry, so was, like, was Jerry there? Yeah. He, he was there. Yep. Good. And he came, he, he's come to shows since then. I did a show there in 2019 and he came to the green room with his family and his wife and we met cool. him and we've exchanged messages and all these kind of things. Yep. So then you go, you were trying to present me that, uh, Jerry Seinfeld was, uh, or sorry, <laughs> Jerry Falwell, you're probably trying to present this leader president and I'm going, nah, I think he's just kind of roasting the general idea of and then with this documentary you try to present me mm. this and i go yes nah, just that's that's just my default yes mm, you got this the okay goes this is the worst i uh, the last thing i ever want to do is ever talk about this again i was like well that's not true mm -hmm. that's not true from day one <laughs> that's not true because you took a million and a half uh, you probably took three million dollars yeah something yeah and all these lights and all these cameras and all these microphones and also are just for you to talk also, about. And also, that's it. fine. Yes, it is. That's fine. You're yes. allowed to do that. You're allowed to tell your story. Yes. And he's like, I go, mm, from the beginning. Yeah. And my it, my initial thought, because because the way it was presented early on, yeah. I felt like he was faking not wanting to be on camera. Okay. And then the moment they cut to his sister, yeah. who, in my opinion, had nothing to do with any of the story. Yep. Besides the fact that it's his sister, let, let's she was go, on yeah, camera yeah, then yeah, and had yeah. her own segments. And I was right. like, so this is a family affair now? We're yeah. just putting, no pun intended, we're yeah, putting yeah. everybody, we, we can get yeah. double the money if we put her in, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. So I, I felt weird way, about it. By the way, we are not in any way no. supporting any of the behavior. No, 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 no. We're, no. Not, so we're, not, we're not letting anyone off the hook. No. We're not doing any of that. No, and I, I want to say outright, I'm happy they made this documentary. I think it's a good watch there i agree with that i said it. i said you know uh, with with the way that if i stand up and say i want to like to be a comedian i'm opening myself up to i also have to mm -hmm. that has to be a part of it mm -hmm. and if you are going to be a president of a I said a lot of the criticism about me was fair mm -hmm. and he goes if he's performing in these churches this the story 
facts work secondary, yeah. but that you are allowed to do that. Yes. And people watch it. Yes. That is, that's what we're saying. Go get your money. Go get your bag. Yes. To, yeah. A lot of the details, now they're, you're trying to pitch me a story that I go, ah. Mm-hmm. Mm, it was like this, this, like a lot of the, um, uh, the tie ins to Liberty about Liberty being like a, uh, segregated school, Liberty trying to keep black people out, uh, Liberty, um, in charge of January 6th, like yeah. a lot of the, the last 10 minutes were <laughs> no, the last 30 minutes, the most dude. insane reaches the last, yeah, I've yeah, ever just, seen. Just in absolutely the just like, what else can we heap on just, top of this pile? Throwing some raw meat into a shark, just yeah. like, hey, what else do you got? <laughs> January 6th, I got it. Yeah. LGBTQ, I got it. Just like the, that. Boston just, Tea Party, they did that got, too. 9-11, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was they them. They did that. Yeah. What? <laughs> That's a little bit of a stretch. Yeah. Those are all a little bit journalistically uh, uh, <laughs> a, a gigantic leap. Yes. A gigantic leap. Yeah. There was a lot of things where, <clears throat> but we talked about this before. But, documentaries yeah. are 2022's tabloids. Yes. Uh, 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 the uh, grocery store magazines. Mm -hmm. That's what a documentary. So they go, <clears throat> this boy tr tries to take down evangelical stronghold, Trump loving. Uh, I go, oh, I got it. I got it. I got who the good guy is and the bad guy. Mm -hmm. I got who the good guy is and who the bad guy is from the first sentence. Mm -hmm. And again, some of that may or, be, may, may or may not be true. Sure. But a lot of the facts, there was like a, I, re, I watched the uh, um, the uh, credits, yeah, and there was like a fact checker, yeah. I go, well, that that person's not doing their job. Who and who paid them? Who paid them? How, it's my, one side of the story. Like my, that's, yeah, it's one side of the story. That's what it yeah. is. And if you watch, I think if you watch it, and if you watch any again, documentary again, like that, again, let me say, we are not, <laughs> we are not, no, endorsing or letting Jerry Falwell Jr. off the hook. No, we are absolutely not. And if he listened to this podcast, which he probably will, <laughs> yeah. We are, uh, I when when people were 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 critical of me, I felt like it was honest. And you go respect. Mm -hmm. That's all we're saying. Yeah. And obviously, when they okay, when they say, if this news comes out, the the pool boy said, if this news comes out, we're all screwed. Mm -hmm. And I, my only argument would be, no, Jerry Falwell screwed. Mm. You are not. You are a pool. No, uh, no disrespect. Yep. This lines. This is not news. Mm -hmm. The pool boy gets flirtatious with some customers and goes up to the hotel. Like he's what makes the story sexy. That's Jerry it. Falwell. No, 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 no. Oh, he makes the, the pool yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, just yeah, what yeah. makes it sexy. He makes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The focus is he is not screwed if the Jerry. the news comes out. Correct. Jerry is screwed. Yeah. And ask me, ask me if I know what the pool boy's real name is. Nope. I don't remember. Ah. Uh, I watched the documentary I don't twice. Mean, I don't. You did. I don't remember his name. I the 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 things that were get a little a little hazy to me is how the real. If you haven't watched the documentary, it's not going to make sense. Mm -hmm. But how the uh, how the real estate guy in Miami got the nude photos. Yeah, I don't know how we because he bribed him with and the that's photos. What, that's what blew the whole thing up. Yeah. That blew the entire. That's thing a major up. Like, piece. How does he get that? Again, let me say, mm -hmm. we are not supporting. <laughs> And those Christian like dumb tabloid blogs are gonna listen to this and be like, ah, yeah. like people with the with their pronouns in their Twitter profiles are gonna be all on this. So let me just say a fifth time, mm -hmm. we are not taking Jerry Follow Jr.'s side. No accountability. If you're a Christian leader, needs to be in place. Everyone would agree with that. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> but I want. I was. I was almost uh, scared into not talking about this yeah. because of that negative feedback. Mm -hmm. But I go, well, I sh we should be allowed to discuss it. Yeah. Okay. Th there was well, and, I'd, and I now am of the camp of, I'd love to hear the other side. Yeah, I would love to. Give me, you know what I mean? Like, and Jer that's, Jerry, make a doc. I want to see that's it. What, like, I, I want to see both sides. That's what happened to me. Mm -hmm. And my shows now are bigger than they were before mm -hmm. because they go, I was doing things that were not of the Lord. Yeah. And then they came down on me so hard. They go, well, that seems unfair. And then they started to take my side. Mm. They go, you can't, you can't, if, the, if, the, if we're doing this to everybody, everybody's done. Mm -hmm. We're all done. Mm -hmm. Going back in their private is that now again, again. <laughs> <laughs> 
some of that stuff was was and i know like some of this stuff was just seems like you're an addict mm -hmm. you're just an addict yeah and from the very beginning um when he went up to the room the first time that yeah. the pool boy goes hey uh if this is uncomfortable for you or if you get jealous in any type of way then we can like i go oh so both people have done this before for sure both parties have been engaged in this before mm -hmm. For sure. You would never say that. Those are vet would, moves. Those are vet moves. Yes. Both of them. Yes. And I, you go, oh, I see. Okay. It's been going on for a long time. Yep. Got it. Which is probably why it was such a successful arrangement for yep. the seven years that it was or whatever. Got it. And that, yeah, there's there's a lot, uh, like you want you kind of want to have like the uh, um, Christianity, you want to do some things that are like, uh, like dangerous, but like you know, a lot of criminals are like that. They leave kind of evidence behind mm. like hoping to kind of like the serial killer thing where they're leaving clues yeah because that's like cops. part of the part of the adrenaline sure it's like he they're bringing him into like chapel and into like on planes with him they're not keeping that a secret that was wild when they started bringing him it's around the kids at addiction it's just addiction that's wild. and let me also say I, I i felt very i felt terrible for the families yeah both families yes everyone involved yes everyone involved yeah it's messy nobody wants this nobody wants it's, it. it's, nobody it wins. sucks yeah horrible for everybody um that, that I should have said that at the beginning. At well, the beginning, I go, "Oh, you try, uh, yeah." That's tough for it's tough for somebody trying to have a family. Definitely, yeah. I hate to see it. Do you remember when? Uh, do you remember when Hulu came out with a Firefest documentary? In the same week, Netflix came out with a Firefest documentary. Did they? Do you remember that? Uh, uh. If you I, haven't seen both documentaries, okay, I think it's a cool like thing because they're both documenting the same exact thing. They yeah. feature some of the same people, yeah, but they make it from two different angles. What? Which is one with what? They're both pulling down Firefest and okay. saying this was an absolute the guy, dumpster right? fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they both attack it a little bit, just a little mm -hmm. bit differently. Mm -hmm. I wish every documentary had a. Just a, two docs. A partner documentary yeah, you know, that was like, like a, yeah. huh, another viewpoint. My, Interesting. Uh, yeah, Lydia works in the news, and they go, like, if we're going to do, like, a, if we're going to show the Republican for 30 seconds, mm. we have to show the Democrat. Right. That's just like, yeah, we have to give equal to both. Yeah. But uh, here's the problem with that is jerry falwell is not going to have a documentary no because he loses right i i lose to, to to tell my side is a it, it doesn't do me any good well and like we we lost it a while ago documentaries used to be yeah, journalism yeah. when it was yeah. like you have the whole objective is to show both yeah, show sides journalism. and let the yeah. viewer decide that's now it's what like, it is you're making yeah. a compelling piece and you're making a point and fine. And, 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 and that's and, fine and, i love watching and it. entertaining yes i liked watching it yes yeah so but if you can't what 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 we're dealing with kind of in this country a lot is you if you can't watch something and be like well, I don't agree with that <laughs> I don't buy that yeah or like everything like everything of your guy your politician your pastor your boss yeah uh, you're hundred percent locked mm -hmm. and then everything the other guy says you're hundred percent out on yeah there's a problem yeah you should watch that documentary and be like I can, I'm I'm very sad mm -hmm. for the people involved yeah and but also mm, I don't know about that right. Also, let me just say one last thing. Um, liberty, well, first, let me say two things. Okay. The Trump thing was like, obviously made it bigger. Made it relevant. Too. Made it wildly relevant. Yeah. But in 2000, whatever the year that was, mm -hmm. when did Trump get elected? 2018, right? 16. 16. Okay, yeah, in 2020. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's 2015, 14. Jerry, uh, so they said in the documentary, they go, Jerry Falwell Jr. is going to give his endorsement. Mm -hmm. He's going to give his endorsement to Donald Trump. And if that happens, Donald Trump is going to run for president. Mm -hmm. and, and, and a lot of the other evangelical Southern Christian people are also going to endorse him. Right. Donald Trump could win the presidency and if he wins the president this it was in the documentary right if he wins the presidency he is going to elect certain amount of there's like retiring supreme court justices mm -hmm. he's going to elect a certain amount of republican supreme court justices and they remember this yeah and they are going to overturn roe v wade right that happened yeah that happened, that happened exactly yeah yeah I mean, I don't even know what to do with that information, but to go, well. It makes you wonder what conversations are being had right now. Because it's the same, blew it's my the mind. same timeline. That like blew Trump's my running mind. again. It's the same yeah, timeline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and he was, Jerry Falwell Jr. was very early mm -hmm. to that 
sign off. He's a Christian. Yep. I don't think I totally agree. No, I don't totally. I don't agree with that. Yeah, I don't. Either. I, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> I'm not, I will not oppose uh, you on I, that. Yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, and that 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 was the start of that. Mm -hmm. And that that snowball. All of that happened mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because if we if we if I give this recommend what's it called? Uh, my recommendation, not my uh, no. my. Uh, Endorsement. endorsement. There Thank you. you. Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. If I give my endorsement, this is gonna happen, then 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 this is gonna happen, and then we're gonna overturn Roe v. Wade, and that happened. Yep. That is why. Yeah. It. There's a lot of there's a lot of people that, uh, and most people without this documentary have no idea who Jerry Falwell Jr. is. Yep. That's like that's what I think is wild about that whole timeline. Yep. Is that that means conversations are being had right now? Yep, 100%. with like between presidential candidates on both sides of the aisle, yep. with people that we've never heard of before. Never, they, they were like, hey, they, and they're making back and they're back making door, backdoor yeah. deals. To yeah. I mean, this is not that kind of podcast, but that's yeah. what's no, but one hundred percent. But that's what's going on. That's what, and it's like wild. It's just wild to think, and and also, um. <laughs> I was going to say, what are you laughing at? I was going to ask you where the net positive is here. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, I got it. I got we'll it. We'll get there. Go ahead. Well, uh, first of all, um, Liberty University, let me just say, by the way, yeah. is absolutely thriving. 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 Through dude. the roof. Liberty University is going to be, is bowl eligible. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they have a, they I have shouldn't a, have led with that. I shouldn't have led with that. <laughs> they have a kid playing quarterback. Yeah, I shouldn't have led with Tennessee that. the Tennessee Titans right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liberty University. Uh, in terms of the, is is every show I go to, I go. Anybody go to Christian college, and people say Liberty University. Every single show, mm -hmm. every single show. And and if you, it was painted kind of that Jerry Falwell Jr. was the lead. There was rumblings around there. I think Jerry Falwell Jr. If listens to this, would be go. go there was rumblings around here that that he was not like his dad. Mm -hmm. His dad was the leader of the movement and like was very and that jerry Falwell was not him that's how the doc opens yeah about and how that, he approached it like a business he didn't come that out was it kind as of a very, that was very evident around the campus right and jerry fall he's kind of like the figurehead but they it wasn't they kind of like he's a little he's a loose cannon mm -hmm. he's a loose cannon to, he'll say stuff and he's like he's just kind of not, he's not a joke he was but like the, liberty has in in some ways distanced himself from him and like they're, they're, they're it's not like it's crumbling right it's the they're fine they're doing great yeah they beat arkansas <laughs> that's not that that's it but it's the barometer yeah they, i mean they're they're uh in doubt they own the whole city of lynchburg yes uh they got more students now than they've ever had before yeah i'm sure it's if you go to campus they're building new leaps things. and bounds yep. uh they got a merch collaboration with balenciaga now they didn't have that <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> fire though <laughs> yeah, they, they, it's 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 almost like we took them down. Yeah, I go well, well, you didn't, mm -hmm. and it's also like the, the connections with Liberty being like racist or like the 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 January sixth tie-in was just an absolute hail mary. Yeah, they they were saying that Jerry may have funded the buses that brought some of the buses. Uh, that Charlie brought, Kirk, that's what it was. Who's the turn? Their their kind of thing there. Yes, but the. That was the Jerry January sixth. Without the insurrection, was uh, uh, it turned? So you're saying that there's uh, there's hundreds of thousands of people down there in that mall, mm -hmm. and then ho however they got into the Capitol, yep. like again, I'm not taking a side on that. Sure, but th th that's just a very the journalistic. I think then here's the net positive. Yeah, hit it. Okay, is that we we have to start watching these things and ingesting these things, and the people you follow on the internet. And the people you, 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 you follow, whether they're religious leaders or political leaders or pastors or friends, go, I'm with you there. I'm with you there. Not with you there. Mm -hmm. And the wholesale buying of any, that's how a cult happens. Yes. That's how a cult happens. Yes. I think I would say it as uh, the public needs to start owning content in the sense of yep. not physically owning content, yep. Yep. but like how we've, we've talked about the... Yep. Once you put something out, the yep. public owns it, yep. meaning they can form their own opinion. Yeah, 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 they yeah. kind of put the temperature yeah. on it. Yeah. Conversations like this are what need to the happen after watching that. And yeah. if you're having those conversations, you, that's the net positive to me. Yeah, 100%. And then if, if you, like, if, if, uh, 
you could take you could take either side of of me mm -hmm. and build that documentary. Mm -hmm. Easy. Yep. And you're like, I used to like uh, follow. I used to follow John, and then I don't follow him anymore. So I think he's like uh, not doing comedy. Mm -hmm. like, uh. <laughs> yeah, no, we're doing great. But I do. I know. <laughs> I follow a lot of people where I got either annoyed with them or whatever. It's just too much, and I stopped following. Sure. Them. And then they're like, "Oh yeah, they're at Bridgestone." Yeah. You go, "Oh, they're out of my world," because mm -hmm. I remove myself from the world. Yeah. But they're still. They're bigger than ever and thriving. Yeah, that's the same thing with Joe Biden in the in the before the election. There was like my TikTok was all like, he can't speak. Mm -hmm. He like he's falling over. He like can't put a sentence together. And then you're like, you see the debate. You go, oh, oh, that was just the, my algorithm. Right, was feeding me. But you, we, the the it, the ingestion of a hundred percent truth from. A pastor, a politician. I mean, I know lots of people like this. Dude. Mm -hmm. I know lots of people that like this. Mm -hmm. They like everything. Uh, yeah, uh, not to like Kyrie Irving. Some of the like he, he comes from Kanye West. Mm -hmm. Perfect example. Yeah, he goes. Some of the stuff. No, some of the stuff. I listen to a lot of Kanye West. What he says is, I go, I'm, I agree with that. Sure. And a lot of the things he says, I go, I do not agree with that. Well, and that should be everybody. I think that's too far, and I think that sows uh, division and hate in this country. But I think that is great. That should be how we how we intake everything. Every conversation, Where every you should every sermon, take away the good, every band, pick out the bad, yeah. find it, identify it, leave it behind, and you Move go, forward. hey, I like the Titans. Well, one of the guys got a DUI. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I don't like him putting other people in danger. As a whole, I don't think he should be fired. Yeah. I think he should lose his job. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe I think he's a, I, th I like, still like to go to the Titans games. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, so you support drunk driving? What? No. <laughs> what? And same with, same, same with everything. We're like, well, I don't support uh, the, the rules in Qatar. Yeah. Well, well, if you want to go over there, you should probably take some of them. I disagree with this. But if, if those, if you live in a sense of conviction where that's too much for you and you don't go. Yeah, the world is not black and white. Yeah, that's the net positive. Yeah. Everybody's, yeah, you could be like, and somebody could be like, I buy it. There, there can't be anyone that says I buy that whole documentary. I hope not. There cannot be. Either side. I hope there's nobody that goes, I'm with everything there, or and I'm even, against dude, everything Even in there. this conversation, mm -hmm. you could be like, I'm with that. I don't agree with John there. Yeah. That's fine. When like I'm, I'm sitting here being like, how do we sum that up? And it's like, no, I think we did. I think, I think we, we summed did. it up as like, yeah, yeah it's... Yeah, I see points on both sides. Yeah, and this we 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 said some things a couple weeks ago on the podcast that were were. were <laughs> I'm not even gonna. No, I'm not. The, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not apologizing for that. That you get crushed on the internet for certain things, yeah. right? Yeah. And then you go, okay, yeah, that's allowed. We're we never said that wasn't allowed. Mm -hmm. You can you can crush me on the internet. Sure, I don't mind that. On the net, it's a positive. I think so. Hold on, uh, if you come to come to the shows. Uh, Bowling Green. Let's see. What's that? February third. Bowling Green, Cincinnati. Say, I'm going all. I'm going everywhere. If you, you really listen, are. if you listen to this podcast, I got 40 tour dates uh, on sale on Ticketmaster. Um, do we have to do that Ticketmaster ad read? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what if we did have to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is that? That, that deal's off the table. After yeah, that's conversation off the earlier. Uh, uh, a bunch of people emailed the website and said my on Adventures and Odyssey that my uh, I, I was wrong in the geography of of the city. There's a lot of there's a lot of that clip blew up. Yeah, a lot of people tagging people, that's being it. like, "Hey, me too. I watched." Yeah, y'all didn't know about. Like, see, I knew that was a big deal. That was cool. I go the, the Adventures and Odyssey is huge. Yeah, yeah. In my our in our kind of homeschool subculture, that is huge. I think one of the main. I said there's a guy named Dr. Blackard, and he worked at the Electric Palace, but he didn't work at the Electric Palace. Jimmy Barkley's dad worked at the Electric Palace. How dare you're you? You're not even going to know what any How of that means. How dare yeah, you yeah, get yeah. that wrong? Anyway, we'll be back next week. Lucas, good I night, mean, buddy. Yeah, sure, it was a little weird, but on the net, net on the, on the, it, it, it was a positive. It was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. But on the net, it's a positive. <laughs>